There's nothing more critical to good shot placement than stability. Hi, I'm Mark Thomas from the National Shooting Sports Foundation. And today we're at the world famous Gunsight Training Academy and Range and we've got certified instructor Jay Tuttle. Now Jay, sometimes a kneeling position is the best way to get stable for a certain shot and there's several different positions we can use, isn't there? That's right, Mark. Here at Gunsight we teach three different kneeling positions that translate across nearly all platforms. Pistol, shotgun, carbine, some gun. And the position that the shooter selects is going to be a function of the circumstances he finds himself in. Typically, kneeling position is going to be taken to change the angle of the shot to account for an unsafe backstop or more likely to make use of cover. Okay, so we've got several different positions. Why don't you demonstrate those? You've got a modern sporting rifle, which is the AR-15 platform. So what are the, the best ones for that? Well, again, we have the three and they all have their pluses and minuses. Uh, the first one I'll demonstrate is called brace kneeling. It's the most stable but it has limitations, which I'll explain once I get down into okay. the position. We start from our balanced fighting stance whenever we have a choice, which is body weight forward, strong side foot slightly back, toe of the stock up in the shoulder. To get into brace kneeling, I'm gonna turn my strong side foot out, step across with my toe pointed down range, drop straight down, back on my heel, flat of my elbow, on the flat of my knee, trying to avoid that bone on bone ball bearing contact. This is a very stable position. I have a solid 90 degree angle here, several points of contact. The downside of this position is although I can roll slightly to the right if I were using cover, I don't have much mobility to the left and I have very little ability to change elevation. To cover from this, I'm gonna depress the muzzle, take a good look left and right, stand, again, assess left and right, check the condition of my bolt, close the dust cover, engage the safety. So that is the, the brace kneeling position, but there's several others that, there are. Uh, um, why don't you demonstrate those? Okay. The second uh, most common is called speed kneel for the reason that will be obvious here in a second. I'm going to start from the same balance fighting stance. All I'm going to do is step straight forward, drop down on my strong side knee. From the waist up, this is identical to standing. Once again, I have some ability to roll to the right, not much to the left. I can make some elevation changes. To recover from this, again, recover to standing, assess again, dust cover, bolt, safety, good to go. Okay, so there is one last one that we can take a look at. That's correct. The last one we call double kneeling, which is probably the most versatile. The key here is getting down in a somewhat controlled manner because we're going to get down on both knees and the last thing we want to do is slam them hard into the deck and take ourselves out of the fight. So from here again, starting from my balance fighting stance, I'm going to roll forward onto both knees and from here I have options. I can come up high, I can get down fairly low, I can roll right, I can roll left. So lots of choices with double kneeling. To recover from this, I'm going to come to speed kneel, which I've seen before. Again, assess left and right, recover to standing, check the condition of my bolt, dust cover, safety, and once again, we're good to go. Now that's got versatility and speed, but what you give up there is a little bit of stability uh, on because you haven't got anything to brace your hands. Exactly, the most stable is gonna be brace kneel because I've got that nice 90 degree angle between both legs. Sounds good, Jay, thank you very much. As you can see, depending on situation, a kneeling position could be the best way for you to shoot. If you want to learn more, log on to our website at nssf.org. And remember, safety depends on you.